Elon Musk once said that Optimus Robot would turn Tesla into a $25 trillion company because in just a few years, Tesla will have millions or even billions of these robots made. And yeah, the demand for Optimus is huge because the price only starts from 20 grand, as Musk said, while it can earn hundreds of thousands of dollars a year through the number of utilities it provides. We don't deny that Elon's promises about Tesla bot are kind of unrealistic, but there are definitely some things that Elon's not let us in on about Optimus. What are those, and when's Tesla going to sell those first robots to customers? Welcome to Tesla Car World. If you're not interested in humanoid robots, you might not be aware, but from early this year till now, a surprising number of robot companies have suddenly sprung up from China to North America. We believe this is due to the hype at the end of last year when Tesla unexpectedly unveiled Optimus Gen 2 with many market-leading improvements, surpassing Boston Dynamics' Atlas, which is another robot that had been developed for decades before. Not only widely discussed at the time of its initial launch, Tesla's latest generation humanoid robot continues to attract global attention with its ambition to bring significant changes to the robotics industry. Since its debut under the Bumblebee prototype in late 2022, Elon has repeatedly mentioned that as one of Tesla's greatest advancements, this robot promises to become indispensable for factories and businesses, while also opening up a future where robots can take on many human tasks at a lower cost. Optimus is not just a robot for internal use, but is also being mass-produced by Tesla for the market, meaning that even Tesla's competitors can buy a few Optimus robots. But the craziest thing of all is that Elon's repeatedly emphasized that Tesla's goal is to make Optimus for only about ten dollars to $20,000, a very competitive price point compared to other robots that cost eighty dollars to hundred dollars However, the truth behind this price is the first thing Elon does not want most of us to know. 1. The secret behind Optimus's $20,000 price. We don't mean to say that Elon and Tesla can't hit this price point, but it's clear that Tesla has the capability to do so, as many components of the robot are made in-house and share technologies with EVs, reducing cost burdens. The fact that they don't need to import batteries, motors, or sensors alone greatly lowers Optimus's costs. However, what we want to point out here is that Optimus will be released in multiple versions, and the $20,000 price tag applies only to the cheapest version rather than the high-end version versions that Tesla plans on commercializing. In the announcement that came from a recent second quarter earnings call, Elon himself confirmed that the company would produce its first version 1 or Gen 1, followed by more advanced ones. We believe Tesla's going to have three versions, two of which have already been released, and a final version that might launch either at the end of this year or next year. Elon mentioned it'd be by the end of this year, but it's clear Gen 3 didn't appear in Tesla's published timeline, so we think it'll probably be next year. Like electric cars, each variant of Optimus is going to have a different price and other different performance specifications. For example, if Tesla Bot 2 can perform 100 different tasks with a longer battery life and faster speed, Gen 1 might only hit half that. However, in exchange, you'd only need to spend $20,000 or less to buy this. This is the first detail Elon has not yet fully disclosed about Optimus's price, leading many to mistakenly believe that a highly advanced robot like Optimus Gen 2 or future premium versions of Tesla bot would all share the same low price. Therefore, we believe that Tesla's humanoid robot could indeed start at $20,000, as Elon mentioned for the Gen 1 version, while other versions would cost over $70,000. That's not too surprising, as Tesla's new products initially come with prices that leave buyers astonished. And of course, as Elon has also said, the price of Optimus will go down over time. With what's been confirmed, the initial Gen 1 version will only be used internally at Tesla's factories. The company's revealed plans to deploy thousands of Optimus in 2025, with production costs of just 10 grand a robot. Starting sales of humanoid robots at $20,000 could very well be a strategy laid out by Elon. Now, clearly, we don't know what it will be capable of or how many tasks it can perform, but just seeing a low price will likely drive many people to rush to place orders. The best example of this is Cybertruck, which got nearly 3 million pre-orders, even though its official specs have yet to be fully revealed. So the price not only helps Tesla easily promote Optimus, but also allows businesses to access humanoid robot technology in the future. After deploying a fleet of robots on production lines and in factories next year, Tesla plans to scale up production by 2026 to accelerate progress and provide Optimus to external customers. With its experience in mass-producing EVs, Tesla has a clear advantage in scaling production compared to competition. This enables Tesla to quickly bring the Optimus robot to market and perform tasks in its factories, from transporting materials to assisting with assembly. 2. Tesla Bot Update Software Cost 
Unlike Tesla vehicles that receive free FSD updates over the air, meaning you get new features and improvements without needing to visit a service center or pay for upgrades, we anticipate that with Optimus, Tesla may require customers to pay a small fee for each update. Unlike electric cars, each update of Optimus is not simply a software improvement, but can bring about leaps and bounds in the robot's working ability and utility, especially since it involves more physical manipulation than the upgrades found in EVs. Imagine owning a machine that's constantly improving. Each update means Optimus becomes more flexible, performs more tasks, learns faster, and even handles situations more flexibly. These features don't come from nowhere, but they are the results of thousands of hours of research from Tesla's top team. Just like you have to pay for premium versions of ChatGPT, customers will also need to pay for extra updates for Optimus. And these updates aren't just about fixing bugs, they're about leveling up your robot's game. For example, you could pay more for Optimus to take on tasks it couldn't handle before. Maybe it could only cook five dishes prior to the update, but after it can now whip up 15 to 20. These upgrades will also optimize speed and accuracy. It's clear that this is going to be a big difference maker. Tesla isn't just selling a fixed product. It's offering a robot with limitless potential that can keep improving over time. When customers pay for updates, it allows Tesla to continue investing in research and innovation, ensuring that Optimus stays at the forefront of AI. Instead of buying more expensive versions, opting to pay a small fee for a lot of upgrades is the smart choice. 3. Tesla bots will be prioritized for delivery to companies. During the second quarter call, Elon mentioned that Tesla plans to deliver Optimus to customers outside the company by 2026. However, what you might not know is that these first customers will primarily be large companies, not individuals. Elon intends to prioritize delivering Optimus to major manufacturers like Amazon and FedEx rather than smaller customers like us in the first phase. There are several reasons why Tesla is choosing this strategy. First, big companies have a demand for automation and financial backing to invest in advanced technologies like Optimus. Integrating robots into production lines or warehouse management will help them optimize productivity and save costs in the long term, which is something every company wants. Second, large companies often have large-scale operations requiring high performance, which allows Tesla to collect data and improve products quickly, especially with a product that requires data recording like Optimus. This is clearly a big opportunity. Like the Semi, the electric truck will initially prioritize delivery companies like Pepsi, Walmart, and Costco to collect data instead of individual customers. Finally, supplying Optimus to big companies first also helps Tesla build credibility for the product faster because these companies that already have a reputation worldwide, it's going to be difficult to suspect that these companies are going to be using a bad robot in their company lines. 4. Optimus rental program will take place later. In June, Elon announced Tesla to offer both rental and purchase options for the Optimus robot. According to this announcement, Tesla plans to lease the technology before starting sales. However, we believe that this scenario is unlikely and the reality will unfold in the opposite direction. Tesla begins by selling Optimus to customers before rolling out the rentals. One of the main reasons for this viewpoint is that the initial production and distribution of Optimus may face limitations in quantity. While Elon's built a reputation for launching rather ambitious projects, Tesla has has not always met their timelines. Mass producing a complex product like Optimus with advanced AI and robotic technologies is going to take time to perfect. If the initial product quantities are limited, Tesla will need to prioritize selling to customers who can afford and are willing to pay a premium for this technology. This approach helps the company quickly recoup its investment and ensures a steady cash flow for reinvesting and scaling production. Additionally, managing a rental system isn't straightforward. Tesla would need to establish infrastructure for maintenance, warranties, and technical support for rented products. This is a complex undertaking that requires significant resources and could be more costly than simply selling the product. Therefore, offering Optimus for rent may only be feasible once Tesla achieves production stability and has a substantial inventory to meet rental demand. We believe the monthly rental price for Optimus could range from $200 to $500. That might sound steep, but keep in mind that upgrading ChatGPT costs $20 a month, and Optimus offers a lot more value. At this price point, the rental service could be accessible to a wide range of customers, from small mom-and-pop stores to individual consumers. The final secret that Elon has not shared about Optimus is the regulations around buying one. If you think anyone can just buy an Optimus, you're probably mistaken. There wouldn't be much concern if it was just an ordinary robot with no risks involved. But Optimus is an AI product, and AI needs to be managed and controlled. 
5. Regulations for customers owning Optimus So bringing an Optimus home isn't as simple as going to a Tesla dealership, paying up, and taking it home. To ensure Optimus is used properly and to protect the interests of both Tesla and customers, Tesla will likely need to establish specific rules for selling the robot, even if Elon hasn't mentioned them yet. Here are some rules that we think Tesla will require, along with the reasons for their necessity. First, Tesla will likely require customers to commit to using Optimus legally and ethically. For instance, customers would be prohibited from using the robot for privacy violations or engaging in illegal activities. This not only protects other users, but also safeguards Tesla's rep from potential lawsuits. Just imagine if Optimus were used for breaching security softwares or spying on people without their consent. The consequences could be severe, not just for the user, but for society as a whole. If you pay attention, you'll notice that a lot of dislike for Tesla's robot stems from negative behaviors that could exploit it for wrongdoing. Many individuals might try to alter the AI system so the robot can act beyond its program limits and take on tasks that it wasn't designed to do. For example, someone might attempt to hack the AI to enable the robot to use weapons like guns or knives. So protecting and monitoring software is crucial for Tesla to maintain both safety and authority. Don't be surprised if Tesla imposes restrictions on where Optimus can be used too, only allowing it in safe and tested environments. Why would that be? Well, just imagine how chaotic it could get if users placed the robot in hazardous areas like locations with toxic chemicals, extreme temperatures, nuclear plants, or areas with high radiation, and then it gets hacked to do horrific stuff. Clearly, these rules are in place not just to protect the robot, but us too. Another important safety measure that Tesla will likely require customers to perform is regular maintenance on the robot and only use Tesla's service for repairs. This not only extends the robot's lifespan, but also ensures it operates in the safest possible condition. For example, if the robot's control system malfunctions and goes undetected, it could mistakenly dispense medication to the elderly or teach your kids incorrectly. Yikes. With integrated sensors and cameras, Optimus can collect various types of data. Tesla will likely require customers not to use the robot to violate privacy, such as unauthorized surveillance or collecting personal information without consent. Without these regs, misuse of Optimus for surveillance could lead to privacy lawsuits, and that could seriously damage Tesla's reputation. If you think you might be innocent just because you're not directly committing these wrongful acts, think again. Tesla will almost certainly require customers to take full responsibility for any misuse of Optimus that can cause harm. This could be stipulated in the purchase agreement. For example, if a person intentionally causes the robot to do dangerous actions that result in property or personal injury, Tesla's not going to be held responsible. This protects the company from legal issues and encourages users to comply with regulations. Tesla will also require customers to notify them if they want to resell or transfer Optimus. And this allows Tesla to track the robot's usage history and ensure that each robot remains in a state of maintenance and safety. If Optimus gets transferred without being inspected, Tesla can't guarantee that the robot's operating properly and safely. These are likely to be the entire set of terms that Tesla plans to impose on customers who purchase and own humanoid robots. Now, if a customer violates any of these terms outlined in the purchase agreement, it is possible that Tesla could even recall the robot or, in more serious cases, take legal action. Optimus still has a lot of upgrades ahead, with the most important being the next hardware update, which will utilize the latest technologies developed by Tesla to significantly enhance its capabilities. The hardware of Optimus is considered the soul of the robot, and the better the hardware system, the more optimized the robot's performance will be, particularly in terms of its drivetrain, battery, and sensors. Compared to other humanoid robots like Atlas, Unitree, Neo, One X, or Figure AI, analysts are asserting that Optimus shows superior design and performance in several aspects. In many scenarios showcased by Tesla, Optimus can move more smoothly and has a higher degree of autonomy. According to our info, the upcoming goal for Optimus' speed improvements is 5 miles an hour, and it's going to be capable of handling different terrains. Additionally, Optimus' hands are designed with 11 degrees of freedom, and Tesla plans to upgrade this to 22 degrees of freedom in the near future. This enhancement will be allowing Optimus to perform more complex tasks from gripping objects to assembling small components, and this is an essential feature for automated factories. Another aspect is the ability to mass produce. Tesla has plans to make thousands of Optimus robots starting in the year 2024 and ramp up to tens of thousands by 2026. 
this ability to mass produce is a major advantage for Tesla, allowing them to quickly bring products to market at competitive prices. In the long run, Tesla, with its experience developing AI and self-driving cars and other cool products, will quickly catch up and even surpass the competition in this field. Although there are still many challenges in AI and automation, Tesla has the advantage of experience and strong resources. If successful, Optimus could usher in a new era of humanoid robots, helping to solve many labor and efficiency problems in industry. So, what do you think about the commercial potential of Optimus robots, and what do you expect from these humanoid robots? We know there's going to be a lot of folks that don't like it, so let us know why in the comments below. Thank you for watching our video, and if you found this content helpful and want to explore more exciting info about Tesla electric cars and the Optimus robot technology, make sure you hit the like button and share this video. Also, be sure you're subscribed to Tesla Car World and turn on those notifications so you'll never miss out on our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you here for our next video. Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and God bless you.